I know you didn't just send me the voicemail. Ryan, get up. It's Banji Santa. Did you forget? Ugh. It's Vlogmas 2022, baby. <laughs> Post office never ever this thing. It's never people parking on the other side. Look at that. I don't even have a place to park. <sighs> Look at her. I'm expected to wait in line, obviously. This will not be fun. <sighs> And something tell me to check the pill box again just in case I have something else to get. It's true. Y'all, the true gag is that I really played myself with this one thinking that, hold on, thinking that it was gonna be totally different all because it's 12 p.m. People on lunch break, they come to the post office, they're trying to sit in, just like I am. I tell y'all, we all think alike. Some of us be living the same life. <sighs> this is a mess. Now watch this problem one telling that once again. Making our Christmas memories. I've been working so much lately. I can barely find the time to sleep Yeah, I spend my time running around Y'all, so I have my package Literally was in the post office for 30 minutes But that's okay I'm stopping into Starbucks to get me a quick summer drink Hi, thank you for choosing Starbucks with my food Yes, I would like to do your strawberry acai lemonade, please, refresher What size? I'll do the venti Yes, can you add three of your raspberry pumps and two peach pumps, please? All right, anything else for you? That'd be all. All right, see you at the window. Thank you. All right, y'all made it to Big Sis' house, and I asked her to stop by Jollibee's to pick me some meat because I'm so hungry. I hope this is it. Why is it two boxes? That's why I want A spaghetti with hot dogs. People say this is good. Who wants this one? That's Tony. Little Tony? Yeah. I'm not gonna get some. Yeah, I don't really care. I'm gonna ask him if I can try it. Alright, here's the spicy on. So it's just a two piece dark, and it had a little spicy fly, some fries. It also came with a pineapple juice. I put my pineapple juice with my Starbucks drink because I was running a little low. Can't forget about the gravy. So I just have the. Is the small of mine? Yeah, it gotta be. Can't forget about the gravy. I need some more hot sauce, period. Here's the chicken. Got some red hot hot sauce. Get that gravy. Mm. All right, you guys, I am back. Oh, I'm all in y'all grill, right? The food was really good. Hopefully, I'm able to fit inside of what St. Perry's has sent me. If you are new here, it's a brand, St. Perry's, a very generous brand. They had um, reached out to me on Instagram last year. It was sometime last year, probably around this time. And they had sent me a whole lot of products. And St. Paris thought about me once again. Dang St. Paris shoe! It is a lot. All right, so the first item, of course I'm gonna run to whatever's black. It looks like it is a t-shirt. See what this is. All right, this is a hoodie for what it is. It almost looked like a two-piece pajama. You guys, they sent me a two-piece pajama set. Once again, I would like to thank St. Perry for sending me this luxury holiday gift box. 
full of great items. And that concludes my day seven of Vlogmas. I hope y'all have a lovely day. Thank y'all so much for watching. Ooh, the sun is not playing with you, girl. So y'all, now that I'm leaving my sister house, I'm on my way to return something at the um, post office. It was nothing major, just something that I've been waiting on, but realized that I didn't need any longer. So really quick, I do want to give a quick shout out to St. Pair for sending me that package. I just did a separate video. That will actually be the Vlogmas Day 7 video. This one that we're watching now, this would be day eight. I decided to do a dedicated video on some of the items that they had sent me, which was very generous. It was almost like I handpicked those items. And didn't. Believe it or not, the company is a big supporter of mine. And they've been watching me for a while, and you know, they decide to send me items every now and then, which is so cool. It's like they literally sat there, watched my videos, picked up my vibe, and was like, okay, we're gonna send him that, 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 because that's him. It was! So if you haven't watched my last video, make sure you check it out after this video, girl, because <laughs> don't leave right now. We got more stuff to do. Y'all probably looking like, Ryan, where in the hell have you been? Girl, minding my business. <laughs> Not for real, y'all. I'm actually going to tell y'all right now what happened and where the heck I've been. So you guys, I have been working with a company, um, a sponsored video, and it was some things they wanted me to tweet before approval. Now, most of the times when I'm doing a sponsorship, I usually do it probably like a day or two before the actual deadline. I don't know, I'm one of those procrastinators that feel like, you know, my best work is last minute. And um, most of the time it is. <sighs> no shade, but you know, I got to my arm. Most of the time it is. And um, th in this case, it was a few things they want me to tweet, change, and redo. Now, with me playing Mr. Procrastinator, I decided to submit my information right before the weekend, so I had to wait on the company. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Today is Sunday right now, so it's three days without posting, y'all. So, yeah, I know I'm in trouble with y'all. Don't shoot the messenger, it's all business, baby. Now, with that being said, I should have been filming, but I wasn't. Um, I took that as an opportunity to rest. And um, that's what I did. So, <laughs> I'm here right now to let y'all know that um, I am still waiting on approval from the company. And in the meantime, I'm just gonna get the ball running. I can't miss too many days of vlog miss y'all. So, um, I owe y'all all next weekend, actually. I owe y'all the whole weekend, which is Christmas weekend, ain't it? Is it? No. No, 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 no. That's... No, Christmas is in two weeks. But yeah, in the middle of that, I just secured a catering order. Um, someone wants me to do a Hawaiian theme party the weekend coming up on the Saturday. So be expecting a cook with me video. They want to do like pineapple bowls with regular grilled chicken, teriyaki grilled chicken. They want steak, um, bacon wrapped hot dogs with the King's Hawaiian rolls. Fried rice, I think I'm missing something. Nope, that's it. It's it's a real straightforward menu in my eyes. So I can get it done. We have to feed 65 people. I'm gonna be doing it all by myself. I asked everybody for help and everybody like, I don't know about that bro. <laughs> so I'm gonna be riding solo with that in the middle of filming, but that is on the 17th. I'll probably get started with that on the 16th. And even though I look like I'm in a great mood, I'm really not. But I will share that with y'all in a little bit because Bay won't get his ass up so we can go and get something to eat. I am hungry. So let me try to get this fool up so we can figure out what we're gonna eat. I've been up all day getting stuff together and I just ain't got time, y'all, so. Yeah, why is it getting dark? Really, my camera got dark because I was rubbing my eye? I don't know. All right, y'all, i see y'all in a little bit. So it looks like we are going to Longhorn. I'm on my way out there now. 
I am not in a good mood, y'all. Let me tell y'all what happened. I'm on my phone. I'm getting phone footage, by the way. That's why I have my phone all the way down yonder because I don't want the police to be thinking that, you know, I'm texting or playing a video game on my phone. So anyway, y'all, my little boy and I, we were actually was supposed to go out today. He came to my house straight after work, took a shower, we watched the movie, he fell asleep, whatever, whatever, right? Now mind y'all, I'm wide awake. I've been up six o'clock in the morning. I ain't eat a thing, not a blessed thing. It's about a good 12 o'clock right now. I'm like, babe, wake up. You get up, what's wrong? I said, I'm so hungry. I'm so hungry. He said, okay, went back to sleep. I said, babe, he said, what's up? I said, I'm hungry. He didn't say anything. I said, okay. So I grabbed his keys. I keep it shuffled all the way to Publix to grab like a soup or something, something real light to hold me until, you know, we decide to go out for dinner. So the first thing on my mind is to grab me some clam chowder, just like I did on my last video, I think. Was it this? No, the video before last. I grabbed some clam chowder, I grabbed some crackers, and you know, I had me a, a little badoop before I went out to eat. Y'all, so as I was on my way home, I got stopped by the train. I'm like, you know what? <laughs> I can't, I can't compete. I'm about to just sit here and eat my soup in the car. Y'all, I opened that soup up. It was clam chowder. So I thought it was. It was what identified as clam chowder. I got a spoonful of that thing, put that stuff in my mouth. And I spit it out and tossed that shit out of the window. It was so disgusting. And I don't know if y'all have a Publix where y'all at, but everybody that have a Publix and you eat any of their like deli foods, whatever, whatever, is the bomb. And I should have known something was up as I was fixing the um, clam chowder because it was super thick. It was super, super thick. And I was like, damn, clam chowder ain't supposed to be this thick. Now I know it's New England style clam chowder. It has some potatoes in it and everything, but it didn't have no business being that thick. I think they put flour in it to thicken it up and to make it stretch. It literally tastes like water. So I'm mad. So I'm like, let me just bust down on these crackers. Put the cheese and crackers in my mouth. The crackers was nasty. I said, what? So I'm looking at the box. Grab the wrong crackers. Because I, I really don't like cheese and crackers, but I like the extra cheese white cheddar. I'm a sucker for white cheddar. Chow. That junk was so nasty. It just tasted like cracker. It just tasted like a cracker. And then Delia was calling me. She like, what should we go to eat? You want to go to eat? Where should we go? Throw something out there. I'm like, Delia, I don't want to play this game. I don't want to play this game. Let's just go get in the car, ride out, go and find something to eat. I don't want to play. She was like, oh, excuse me. I'm saying, I'm sorry. I'm hungry. I, I don't want to play. If we're going to go and get something to eat, let's go and get something to eat. We ain't got to discuss it. You already said that you ain't want no Golden Corral. You ain't got to go to Golden Corral. We have a million restaurants in Jacksonville. Let's just get in the car and go. So she picked up one of her friends and um, we all decided to go to Longhorn. Now y'all already know what I'm about to order. And I've been a bad boy, so I need me a drink. Oh, it's an Ulta over here. I might run to Ulta and see if I can find some cologne. Yeah. Oh, happy day. Y'all, Delia had me sitting here for three minutes talking about something she didn't know it was me. I don't look like myself. What up, besties? I'm back from dinner, but I am a little disappointed. Now, I must say, dinner was perfect. Delia had some family in town, and um, they decided to come to dinner right before they left, right? So everything was cool. We had a great time. The dinner was nice. And her cousin was like, I take care of the whole table. And I was like, oh, okay. You know, we always hype when a meal is taken care of, honey. That makes a meal better. Now, before we went to Ulta, Delia was doing her order on the phone, and 
I expected to just go into the store and get my cologne, but I'd be forgetting about her little bootsy, right? She was like, well, you should do your order via pickup too. I was like, well, I only have cash. So she said, okay, well, give me the cash and I'll pay for it, you know, on my card through my membership and we'll just do pickup like that. Okay, cool. So gave her the money, put in the order, submitted it, whatever. Had our dinner, had a great time. So we pull up at Ulta and I went in and I was able to pick up Delia's order, but I was still waiting on mine. They were asking me questions about, you know, the order that I put in. So I was like, well, it's under the same name, under the same card, et cetera, et cetera. So they was like, well, can you pull up the email? I was like, well, we never received an email, which we didn't. I got her to log in to show receipt of purchase. So I went in there. We have the order number. We have the total that it took from her card. And we have the item. Take it up there. They're looking in their system. They can't find it. The manager tried looking for it. They couldn't find their system. So I'm like, okay, well, it shows that the payment has been made. It shows the item. It shows the number. And it shows the store. So they call it guest services. Guest services at like, they didn't know what they were doing. It was like, yeah, we see it. So what y'all want me to do? So it was like, well, we don't see it on our end. The associate was like, well, we don't see it on our end. So we're not able to help the customer. So customer service is like, well, what you what you want me to do? It's, it's proof that it's there, the payment. We have all everything on our end. So the lady was like, well, we can't do that for the customer. It was just a total hoopla. So they're going back and forth. They're fussing. They're arguing. And then the customer service people is like, our system is down. I'm like, so y'all done sat here and wasted an hour of my time. And I don't know how it works on their end. But if corporate is telling you that we have the payment, we have the item number, et cetera, et cetera, it's processing our end. Can't they just authorize me to get the item out of the store or at least give me a refund? And I even said, I was like, can you just give me a refund so I can go and get the, st the item myself and bring it up here and pay for it? So they said, no, it's going to take about a week for you to get your money back. I said, I only took five minutes to take the money. Why got to take a week to get it back? Well, they saying because it's sitting down, da, 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 da. So I'm sitting there. I got a whole attitude. Delia coming down. Now, y'all, I just told y'all, Delia have a broken foot. She had a cask on. She done walked in there. She started fussing and cussing. Because she was like, well, y'all took the money off my car. And y'all tell me that I can't get my item. Because you don't see it on your end. And corporate said they see it on theirs, so give me my shit. <sighs> Needless to say, we walked out empty handed. I thought it was very much inconvenience because they didn't even offer us like a five dollar voucher for inconvenience. They didn't offer us anything. And I'm gonna report that. I'm sorry. I'm gonna report it. I'm going to the Better Business Bureau. I'm gonna tell them everything that happened, how they wasted a whole hour of my time. I I shopped ahead of time so we wouldn't have to even go through this. They should have been on their P's and Q's, so I'm going to report it. And I'm going to go to Sephora tomorrow, and I'm going to buy me some motherfucking cologne, per. So, yeah, girl, that's what happened. It was a mess. It was a mess. But I'm good and full, and I feel good. And I'm finna creep up in bed with my man. It's Vlogmas 2022, baby. <laughs>